Hi y'all, Prepper Pam here. I'm going to be making beef broth today. Um, I went up to our little local store and they had beef bones um, for like almost $4 a pound, which is just so stupid. Anyway, they had these beef ribs at $1.99 a pound. So I grabbed the ribs. So what you're going to do is um, I bake these at 400 for an hour. Um, it gets the grease off. Um, you want to get that little, the niceness in there, you know, from the baking and stuff. So I'm going to bake these for an hour at 400. And um, you can put in more or less if you want. But this is basically the same way you do chicken or turkey or anything, the carcasses. So I'm going to bake this for 400 for an hour. Okay, so the beef broth is done. I'm going to try and do this so it doesn't fog up the camera. Just going to remove everything and let it go through the colander. And then um, I'm going to give the bones to the dog because they're so soft. And um, put it into jars. And then I'm going to pressure can it. Smells awesome. Okay, so this is everything that I took out of the pan. There's a lot of um, meat in here, a lot of beef in here. I'm going to pull that out later. So um, this is probably overkill, but um, I want to make sure I get everything. So this is just pure broth. <clears throat> Boy, this is just beautiful. Just beautiful. So the reason that I bake this at 400 for an hour, it takes out like, I don't know, 60 or 70 percent of the fat. <clears throat> okay, so out of that large crock pot, I got three beautiful quarts of beef broth. I can see a little layer right here. I think that might be a little layer of fat. And like here too. I'm going to let it cool for a minute and then kind of skim it off. Looks beautiful. Oh my. Just wonderful. I'm so happy with it. Okay, so the beef broth is all done. I let it cool overnight. And here is a real thin layer of fat. I'm going to leave it on there. Too much fat, you can, it turns rancid. But this amount is okay. So, um, also in the video, um, when I put the beef bones in the crock pot, I also throw in carrots, celery, and onion. I keep a bag in my fridge for the pieces and ends of the carrots and celery and onion. And then when I want to make any broth, then I pour it, you know, I put it into the um, crock pot. And if you just want to do a veggie broth, you just do the veggies. That's all you need to do. So anyway, um, if you have any questions, uh, shoot me an email and prepper Pam out.